welcome to this video. In our previous video, we discussed a trigonometric identity. Today, in this video, we will study the other two trigonometric identities. In the previous video, we divided the square of ln into each term of the equation 1 in the right angle triangle LMN with the help of the Pythagoras theorem giving us a trigonometric identity. What if we divide by the square of LM instead of the square of LN in equation 1? Let's see. The following equations are obtained by dividing the square of LM on both sides of equation 1, where we use trigonometric ratios tan theta equals to mn upon lm and sec theta equals to ln upon lm along theta, from which we get 1 plus tan square of theta equals to sec square of theta, which is a trigonometric identity where the value of theta is greater than or equal to 0 degrees and smaller than or equal to 90 degrees. Similarly, if the equation of the right triangle is divided by the square of mn, with the help of trigonometric ratios, we get lm upon mn equals to cot theta and ln upon mn equals to cosec theta, from which we get the value of the above equation is 1 plus square of cot theta equal to the square of cosec theta, which is a trigonometric identity where theta value is greater than 0 degrees and smaller than or equal to 90 degrees. Using these three identities, we can express each trigonometric ratio in terms of other trigonometric ratios. Let us understand this by an example. Can you prove the following identity? Let's see. Let's discuss first its left side, where we take the lowest common multiple and solve from which we get the 2 by 1 minus square of sin theta. We know that the square of the sin theta plus the square of the cos theta is equal to 1. With the help of which, here we replace the square of cos theta in place of the 1 minus square of sin theta. Can you change this value as sec theta? Well done! We know that the value of sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta. Therefore, in the above equation, we put the sec square theta instead of 1 upon cos square theta, which is equal to the right side of the given common identity. Thus, we proved it. Today, in this video, we studied two trigonometric identities. In the next video, we will see interesting examples based on this.